Hey, what's going on guys? Alex the Hibier. Welcome to a Mythoscript video. Except, we're not on Mythoscript right now. And also, sorry about the bad audio. I'm recording this on a not very good camera. <laughs> so, basically, if you're seeing this, this little book thing here, which you should since I'm recording it, we're basically going to be making this <laughs> in today's episode. Although, since it's been a solid couple years uh, 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 since this has been released, so oops. so I decided to, like, if you see the construction materials right here, I decided to give it a little update and use some of the newer blocks, some of the 1.16 blocks, throw in a little spruce instead of the oak, but yeah into the episode. Thank you, human Alex. As you just heard from him, we're going to be building a giant house. It's been changed up a little bit. I just switched out a little of the block palette. It, so that way it looks fancy. But yeah. Although first, I've been busy in between episodes, so I need to show off some stuff. First, giant tree farm. And what's that fueling? That's, if you come over here, there are, I got stick trade guys in here. Oh nice, I can trade with them again. But... Yeah, and then I just build up my sticks and my logs in here. Originally, I had jungle stuff planted there, hence the leaves. But now it's spruce, because I need spruce for this build. Anyway, I switched it up because, you know, why, why the heck not? Why should I just copy something when I think it looks neat the way I do it? Plus, that book... Ah, oh, jeez, when is this book? Um... I need to fix these books I'm messing up placing. Let's see. No idea. It doesn't say how old it is. I'll check that in a second. Because I know this is an old book. Because I got it back when I was in elementary school. So, yeah. <laughs> Do people over in like the UK and Europe have elementary schools? Because I know they go to school when they're that young. It's just... Is it ele like is it called elementary school? Because I'm pretty sure for them, like our high school is like their college. So I'm not sure what has the same name. So there we go. But yeah, off away. This dirt is not staying with the build. I'm just have it here so that way I can place all of this and it doesn't go sideways like that. Cause I think this. I think this way looks neat. <laughs> Boom. There we go. But, yeah. Also, if you guys are hyped that this is back, let me know, because this is pretty cool. Also, if you didn't know, on the Mythoscraft Discord, they added a new thing. Like, it's not in the game yet, but they're working on a thing, so basically... Whenever you craft um, an anvil as a child of Hephaestus, it becomes like a, a, Hefe bleh, a Hephaestus anvil. And it like looks all special and stuff. And so, um, yeah, it looks really cool. And I went and made an anvil, and then I realized, oh shoot, it's not in game yet. <laughs> yeah, but they added those... And they're like all special and stuff, so that way, whenever you use the custom books that they've also added, it gives it like you can just like throw the items that you want enchanted on top of it. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the en new enchantments are though, so I might be actually, I probably will be looking for those in the next episode if the update is released yet. So <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Okay, this is taking a hot minute, so I'm going to clear out this dirt, and uh, 
be back when the roof is on this so like we're done with floor one okay guys so we've been making a lot of headway so this is the front area I've been able to lay down all the oak, so now all this looks nice. I had to push all of this back one forward because there was that awkward thing at the end, oh, like poking over the edge, and I realized that that was a mistake. So, yep, I've gotten the glass all in, and then I think I'm going to build up whatever else needs to be built up, and then I'm going to start on the roof. Like, you can already see, like, there's, like, a little thing that goes down. I think you actually need to break those two but yeah on to working on that well everyone the build's finished or at least the exterior is <laughs> just destroy that real quick I still need to go in and put in stairs because at the moment that's the only way up but what do you guys think <laughs> it probably have a little bit more to work on and Somebody wants to TP. Hmm. Hmm. I don't trust him since he's an Air a child of Ares. Hmm. But, yeah. This is the back. I think I'm going to remove this. Either that or put a balcony here. Bro, if he kills me right now... Bruh, this kid. Okay, so this, what I'm about. Okay, so what happens next, I'm going to try summarizing as best as I can. Because it kind of took place over the course of like another hour. Okay, so basically, the guy who teleported, he basically kept spawn killing me. And if you don't know already, Mythos, at least the beta server that it is right now, is an SMP server. Which basically, if you don't know what it means, there's SMP and factions. Factions, you can go to war with other factions and that sort of thing. But on SMP, it's more of like a survival, peaceful sort of thing. So that way, like, you can't really kill anybody else. Like, you can, and it, you just, like, can't, like, kill them over and over again and, like, take their stuff and basically do it excessively. And let me tell you, he did it excessively. Basically, what he did is he came in. And he killed me over and over again. And, and like, I didn't really have anything on me either that was good to fight him. Because I didn't... Well, the first time he killed me, I didn't really know that he was going to do that. Although I should have expected it since he was a child of Ares. Anyway. But yeah, he goes around. He went and killed my villagers and burnt down all the houses that were made out of wood. And that sucked. And so I got onto the Discord, and I basically talked to a guy, and was like, hey, this kid is being mean, basically. And so he got one of the admins online, and then, honestly, I, I, in the chat, I told him, like, okay, I, you're going to get banned, basically, because um, I, I basically just told him that, because I told the people. Plus, keep in mind, I added, like, an hour's worth of footage of this, of just this entire thing. So, and then, I think it's because of that, but, like, a minute later, he, like, stops, and then he gives me all of his stuff, like, everything that he has on him. I don't think it was all of it, but it was definitely most of it. <laughs> so, he gave me all of that, at, and the admin was just like, uh, did you good now or something? And then... And so, I talked to him, and I'm just like, he kind of just came in and killed me a good bunch. Honestly, I still think he should be banned. I didn't really say anything then, because I'm not a mean person. I didn't want to be that mean. Although, he kind of just said that he was doing it because, oh, the server sucks. So, oh, the people in charge aren't very good. Although, I mean, let's be honest. If that's your excuse, you don't have to play on the server. It's not that big of a deal. But, yeah. Luckily, the admin was able to come in, and he had this fancy undo button, basically, where, like, a reverse time to, like, right before he came. I don't know how to explain it other than that. So, basically, everything came back. Which, 
I'm very happy about because that took me a long time. I'm, and so the villagers were out of place, so I decided to move them into the big house. But, yeah. That's the, that's the summary. Back to the other thing. Thank you.